What's going on, guys? Darcella coming back at you with the second part of my YouTube noob series. We're going to be getting into showing you how to uh, put your face cam into videos and embed them using video editing software. But before that, we need to make a quick video to show you how to set this up and how to make it possible without these two videos getting out of sync. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this program. It's called um, Handbrake. My son has renamed it Pineapple because it looks like a fucking pineapple icon. One, if, if you don't have it renamed, apparently. Once you rename it, it looks like a piece of paper. But what you're going to run into, and you've, you guys have probably already run into this, if you're noobs like me and you're trying to figure out how to put face cam in, is that cams and recording devices record at different FPS. FPS stands for frames per second. So if you're using a software editor, editor like a Lightworks or some of these that are more advanced, it, it wants all of your videos to be have the same FPS. That means uh, frames per second. How many frames per second is your video cycling through? So if your capture card is capturing at, let's say, 30 frames per second, or 60, whatever it's capturing at, but your cam is capturing at 29.97, which some of them love to do, or even 15 frames per second. That means, try as you might, by the end of your video, even if you synced it up at the beginning, it's going to be a little bit off. So, apparently, I need an update. Whatever. Uh, so, what we're going to do is walk through how to change the FPS or the frame rate of a video. Now, I'm not a tech guy, I don't know much about tech, but this is something that I have figured out through my own research, and I want to pass it on to you. So, if you're getting ready to take that next step and start using cam in your videos, you need to know how to do this. So, Handbrake, it's free software. Download it. I'll try and put a link in the description. But essentially, this is what you're going to want to do. Now, I'm sure Handbrake is very robust with a lot of different features. I don't know shit about all that stuff, but I can tell you how to change the FPS on your video. So we're going to go to Source. We are going to select a file. Let's go to Desktop, and I've got one already set up. Example. So as you can see, this is cam footage, this is game footage. Now if we look at my cam footage, we will see under Details that it is frame rate 15 frames per second. It's in HD, but it's 15 frames per second. Now, my gameplay footage, the capture card records at 30 frames per second. These are different frame rates, so we have di the, a different number of frames per second, which means eventually you're going to get out of sync in your video if you try and use these as is. Uh, unless you've got a very awesome you know, video editing software that takes that into consideration, and there are some webcams and capture devices where you can um, change the frames per second or the frame rate. I've tried. It just doesn't work on mine. So it is what it is. So what we did is we selected that raw cam footage. Now, what we need to do, as you can see, it's right here. Capture, blah, blah, blah. This is the um, you know, length of it. So we did that by clicking on source and clicking on, on select file. Now what we want to do is put a destination for it. So we're going to browse again, and what we're going to call this, this is Battlefront, so we will call this BF Cam 1. Okay, now what you want to do is do these one at a time. So if you still have this uh, software open and you're going to do a next one, it's going to automatically try and rename this thing. So right here, where you see this clicking, it's going to say MV4, or some other thing that's just not going to, it's not going to work in your video editing software. So you want this to be MP4, okay? Now... What you need to do, you come down here where you see picture, filters, video, audio. You want to click on video. See how we pulled up video. Leave this codec. I mean, that's, that's how it's encoded, and that's fine. But we want to go to frame rate or FPS. Right now it says same as source, variable. We want to change this. See, so you want to match this up to your capture card uh, frame rate. So mine is 30, so I will change it to 30. And then, super important, make sure you click constant. Otherwise, it's just going to vary. It's going to vary. So you want constant frame rate. You want your frame rate to match whatever your capture device is. It's real easy to determine. You saw I right-clicked on 
whatever file and went to details and it will tell you the frame rate. So you want these two things to be the same. Now we've got a MP4 setup, we've got it named, we've got our source input, we've got our frames per second at 30, and we've got it at constant. All this other crap, no idea, but this is how you're going to change your frames per second to 30. And then you're going to come up here where it says start, you're going to click start. Now it's going to get ready and it's going to start going. We don't have to sit here and watch all this, it takes a little while. It's probably going to take about 20 minutes per hour of video. But that's what you guys want to do to change the frames per second or the frame rate of your video so that you can match them up with your capture card video. It's pretty easy, even for a noob like me, which means noobs like you should not have problems doing this. So once again, program is handbrake. Source. Select your source. Click it. File. You're going to open a particular file. Bang. As you can see, it's already starting to encode in here. We selected this file, capture, blah, 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 right? So once you select your file, you need to choose a destination. So you're going to browse. You're going to go to desktop, find whatever file you want to put it in, rename it, and make sure that it says MP4 afterwards. And again, if you want to add to Q, I don't recommend this because the next file is going to encode as MV, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to encode as MP4. So I do them one at a time, and then when I'm done with this one, before I browse or destination, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to re-enter, re-browse, go through all of the same processes. Click on video, frame rate 30, constant frame rate. It's, yours isn't necessarily going to be 30. It's whatever your capture card is encoding at or, or you know, recording at. So that's how you change your frame rates per second to match them up to your capture card. The program is handbrake. It's pretty easy. I don't know about all this other crap that it does, but it's pretty easy to change your FPS or frames per second so your videos do not get out of sync by the end, which will happen if you have different frame rates. So, uh, with that said, we will cut this off here. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, any questions, let me know. I will put a link to handbrake in my description so you guys can click on it and download it. And then next, what we're going to tackle is I'm going to go over how to actually make uh, a video using cam footage embedded within that video. So if you're gaming and you want to put your cam footage on there, this is step one. Step two is actually putting it in there. I use PowerDirector 10 because I found it to be the most intuitive and easy to use for putting cam into video. But there are Lightworks, which is a free software. It's a bit trickier, but it can be done. Um, but that's what I use. You can also use Sony Vegas, uh, all of these other programs. Um, but I prefer PowerDirector 10 for cam in game footage because it's super easy and you will see why on the next video. Other than that, like, subscribe, share this thing, and Darcell it will catch you guys on the next YouTube noob or my next walkthrough, which you can check out on my channel as well. Darcell it is out.